Chapter 4 Ferdinand, Mighty Ferdinand. All right. Why do I gotta sit on the throne to give orders? Oh. Oh, I, I don't need to save right now. I, I just saved. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Talk to some people though. Oh, I like um during Evan's speech, Tani was like, wow. And I'm like, wow, you're right. This speech totally feels like it's being read from a piece of paper or something like that. It wasn't very good. You need you need to work on that, Evan. It's all right though. It's his first speech. He's like five years old. You know, I'd cut you a little bit of slack. Should be a treasure chest behind the throne. That would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Hey, man, lean back in your chair. Don't stand like lean forward, all hunched up. Oh dear. Evan can sit down on his throne in Evermore Castle and issue orders to his subjects in order to help his kingdom grow and prosper, and in turn make his adventure easier. By building facilities, assigning citizens to run them, and having them carry out research into new technologies and techniques, he can open up a whole new world of possibilities. Facilities include shops where unique items can be bought, outfitters that can make all kinds of clothes and armor, and many others. Uh, get building and make ever more amazing. Missed opportunity to say ever more, more amazing. Uh, King's Guilders are the currency of kingdom management and are entirely separate from the guilders Evan and his friends can earn elsewhere. They are necessary for every step of kingdom building from creating new facilities to upgrading existing facilities to carrying out research at said facilities. I think there needs to be an and. Uh, why not claim your first clutch of KG? Go to the kingdom's coffers and grab them. Huh. Now give me that KG. Oh, I guess I'm covering up some stuff. All right, so I'm covering up that stuff. So why don't I, why don't I go over here? All right, so uh, they'll gradually accumulate as your citizens go about their business and you can collect them from your kingdom's coffers as and when you need them. Uh, you'll be surprised how quickly they can build up, especially once your kingdom's influence starts to grow. So check back regu regularly, see how things are looking may also be able to earn extra King's Guilders by solving the various day-to-day -day problems of your beloved citizens. Uh, you can also see how many King's Guilders you've collected in the main menu, so you don't have to go back to Evermore to check every single time. 
Um, all right, it's time to take your hard-earned King's Guilders and spend them on building a new facility. You can select and build the facilities your kingdom lead by selecting manage your kingdom on the menu. Building them will, of course, cost King's Guilders. Come on, man. You don't got to tell me that. Uh, each and every facility can have a hugely beneficial effect from opening up new avenues of research to making new items available so be sure to consider each one carefully and don't forget you can also improve the effects of existing facilities by upgrading them one particularly helpful facility to upgrade is your castle as doing so will benefit the entire kingdom broadening its borders so that even more facilities can be built but leveling up your castle will cost quite a few king's guilders by upping your influence with a few basic facilities first to improve your coffer filling capabilities. The first thing you'll need to do is select manage your kingdom and build up the facilities of each of the four ministries surrounding the castle. All right, so the thing that I didn't want to cover is the Evermore region. There's like some influence there and looks like some ranks. Um, so there you go. That's what it looks like. Going back over here. So uh, let's uh, let's let's manage a kingdom. Well, I guess this is the castle. Build a higglery. Outfitters. Oh, so I don't get to choose where where I put things. Can't zoom out anymore. Alright, so I know they want me to build my ministries, but these don't feel like ministries to me. But I guess I'm just going to build these because they're the only things that I can build right now. Holy moly. Like, I'm at, I went from 1,000 to 16,000. Influence. Oh, it says how much influence I get right there. I wish I could, you know, position these where wherever I want it. That would be kind of cool. Missed opportunity. I know it's a console game, but come on. Oh, it's on PC too. Come on. Take that that PC influence. Oh, is Home Chick Slice gonna live there? Uh, once your facilities are up and running, you'll need to set set them to work on some research. Most facilities can carry out research of some kind. This can have, or th yeah, this can have all kinds of beneficial effects from making new items available to helping Evan and his friends. In order to research a given topic, you'll need personnel with enough IQ and the King's Guilders to fund their work. Some topics may also have extra requirements. Of course, research takes time. When research into a given topic reaches 100%, it will be completed, but the more complex the topic, the longer it will take. The higher the IQ of the personnel involved, the shorter the required time will become. And if you really want to hurry things up, you can always spend a few more King's Guilders. In order to carry out research, you'll need the right personnel. We got War, Ingenuity, Spritecraft, and Conjury. And those are, the, those are those icons right down there. Can't see my influence, which is 61,000 right now. Every citizen is different and will be suited to a different work. Uh, you can see which kind of work suits someone best by looking at their ratings under the four separate categories. Their suitability for a given type task is known as IQ. For example, you need someone with a high IQ where military matters are concerned to carry out weapons research. Each citizen will have their own special skills as an individual. 
These can have various beneficial effects and greatly increase where you might choose to assign them. By assigning some personnel to the weapons workshop and beginning research into basic... Oh, try assigning. Basic weapons military research. Alright, well... Not what I was hoping it would look like. We need a hundred IQ for this. We'll take one minute. Hold on a second. So they have they even have like special abilities. Bad reputation, a history of gleeful violence that can boost the hunting lodge productivity. Like, that's crazy stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll put him there. Take around one minute. Still takes one minute, man. Hey. Good, it looks like your research is complete. But running a kingdom isn't just about research. Certain facilities such as farms and mines will allow you to amass materials by assigning personnel to work there and gather them. The items gathered can be collected from your kingdom's stores, which are accessible from the kingdom's menu. Don't forget to claim your fair share of the bounty of the realm. Obligatory uh, Game of Thrones joke there. Your stores can only hold so much, so you'll need to empty them regularly in order for your item producing facilities to keep providing you with goods. Eh, that's uh, kind of irritating. Kingdom management is a complex business. You've covered the basics here, but don't be afraid to go over them again. Just go to the help menu in the library. gonna say it but I was eating this cracker What else we do before we hey we do that we got some citizens and some citizens all right so you're a miner you're a lumber yard general store Can I just once again say that I love the UI of this game? Oh, I can... Eric's Mining Camp. Floors Guild. Farm. Ranch, hunting lodge, uh, 
medicine and materials. Fish market. Bazaar. Food place. What was this one again? Lumber yard. I'm guessing BTL's battle? Um, Hubble Bubblery. Am I missing anything? I wish I could zoom out just a little bit more. How much does this cost? Okay with that. A sign of personnel. Dowser's instinct. Okay, cool, cool. like research or anything like that they just automatically automatically get it I guess interesting um I want to I get this for show personnel I should look at research. Ooh. That's a lot. Okay. Not gonna do that just yet. Search. That's super expensive. Search. This. Ooh. I don't have anybody with that IQ though. I don't think. Oh, I do. That would cost all of my guilders, though. But it probably won't reduce the guilder's cost. It'll probably just reduce the IQ cost. I wish, I wish I knew before spending that. Oh my gosh, that's going to take forever in the day. Moving on. Okay, so, uh, oh, um, hey, got some, got some gilded. Okay, so this, uh, kingdom building thing. Oh, oh my gosh. Thanks. Walk around your kingdom? That's so cool!
Are you ready to order? Come on, you can make us bread, man. Come on. Uh, g give me, give me five bread. Oh, and you can. This, this is. There was a game. Might have been Xenoblade Chronicles too. That wasn't very helpful Take with that. Time. All right, cool, cool. You can make weapons at the Weapon Workshop and armor and accessories at the Outfitters. The range of items available will depend on the research you carry out at each. You'll need the right materials to make the items and can even add so-called catalyst to improve the quality of the end product. The higher the quality, the longer things last. Worried about that. You can also use these same facilities to improve existing equipment. As with item production, this will require specific materials. Be sure to improve the right aspects of each piece of equipment. For example, physical and magical attack for your weapons. Uh, and be aware that each item of equipment can only be improved a fixed number of times. Reach that and you'll be stuck with whatever you have. Oh, and it costs guilders to do this too. And can't these people just work for free? All right, so I want to sort by first parameter. Kind of expensive. Ooh. I think I have. No, I don't have any long swords. I thought I had one. I think we might, might get this. This is 800. Oh. Is, so that's what that badge means? That's quality? Place that. Improve weapon. I think it's at plus one. That's it. Can I go more than that. Man, that was a hundred. All right, that not worth. The spell works is where new spells are learned and existing spells improved. All spells learned here are the kind that can be assigned to the skill palette and used in battle. Just as with equipment acquiring new spells require certain specific materials, and some spells can only be available to certain characters. Good idea to broaden and strengthen the repertoires of the magical specialists here as early on as you can, not just with offensive, but with defensive spells as well. And they're not showing any new characters in that, whatchamacallit, fortunately. All right, Evan. Fireball reaches level five. Uh, oh, so I need to improve it. Cool. Cool. Okay. Okay. I see you, game. This. This is going to be cool. This is going to be really cool. All right. Let's get out of here.
Actually, let's see. A lot of stuff was going on there. All right. Uh, kingdom building seems really, really nice. I'll we'll get to just a whole new set of depth right there that I never knew I wanted and never really needed, but I'm happy I have it. Um, actually, before we go do all that. Check out these other facilities. Uh, the Higglery is where you can cook up all new Higgledies to help you on your adventure. Pop just the right ingredients into the cauldron and give it a stir, and they'll fly out, or and they'll fly. No one quite knows how it works, but you can't cook up the same one twice. Auntie Martha says it's because two of the same soul can't exist in the world at once. But who knows? You can also improve your existing Higgledies here using all manner of materials, and the fonder they are of the items you have to offer, the bigger the effect will be. Dudes are a little expensive. Oh, didn't, didn't I plop this here? It's not like a building. Right, let's, let's get the step. Oh, I see another battle over here. What uh, what am I at? Uh, level three. We already did this one, but maybe this is one we can repeat multiple times. Oh, you can now attempt a skirmish on hard mode. Uh, Evermore is... Okay. Evermore has grown big enough that the new option is... A... That a new option is available on briefing screens for skirmish battles. Bolster forces. With it, you can spend King's Guilders in order to give your forces various advantages, such as more might and more HP that will make even tougher battles a breeze. You can also opt to retry skirmishes in hard mode, which will see you facing much more challenging enemies, but for corresponding greater rewards. How do I how do I do hard mode? Oh, there's... Shieldsmen. I'm not familiar with those enemies. Alright, I guess I don't get to do this on hard mode. Lads. We can't afford to lose. Heels guys are I think I'm getting destroyed. Some white raw special tactics, please. Stay strong. All right. Oh, 
Are you gonna, are you gonna kill those guys, man? to do against these shield guys. Gotta flank them, I guess. Nope. Don't you know from the last time we were here, you gotta fight? Wamadeus. There should be, yep, there's a thing over there. Oh, no, back on up, dog. Take everybody on. Yeah. Then I ain't afraid of no ghost. Stay strong. All right. Get him. I I like this little mini game thing. It's so nice. Thank you so much, everyone. Can't wait to get more troops. Five. I am not level five. Hey, there's a, a dude over there that I haven't fought before. Except during the boss fight. Oh, I didn't mean to run into him. I don't know what I was thinking. You ready for this? Oh, the higgledy noise. It is great. Alright, who be you? Mossy Monument? I think I could take him on. Should be a boss. Oh no, he's not a boss. Careful, everyone. Oh! Oh my gosh! Take that indeed! Oh my gosh! Okay, so I should probably just teleport. But there is like a special boss guy over here. Don't know what level he is. Also a treasure chest. Wendy Shams here. Level are you?
23. Not too bad. What level am I? 21? Alright, let's go ahead and go to Auntie What's-Her-Face. Tatar for now. Know where the Grotty Grotto is? Ooh, quest. That tells me how much experience. Is it active? Oops. Hey, you look this, though. Look at it. I wanted, I wanted to read that leaflet. Oof. Falling behind. Let's see. <laughs> Peachy, hey, Peachy. Man, how come I can't be taking pictures? Let's filter unread. Um. Oh, that was when I. That was when he acquired his bill. <clears throat> Fascinating. LB moderator. Wow, just wow. What education would you need? I mean, are you going to teach them how to... How to, uh, I don't know, make fake dice? Ooh, and, well, if I go to the map, it shows you where the side quest is. That is so nice. The map looks so pretty, too. Like, does, does this thing appear on the map? It does appear on the map. What level are you? Level four. 
Probably a little tough for me right now. Get my itty bitty little gilders. Oh, I was gonna save. Guess not. That purple. Yippee! Want scrap? Um. Flip it, Ackman. <laughs> you are one hundred percent drippy. Her name is Millennia. Get out of here with that. I'm younger than you, so I can wait the 80 years. I, I don't think you could afford that. At least I Flip. think younger. <laughs> that was that door that we came across earlier on.
Lucky Locket. Look at that experience, too. Oh, and it looks like she becomes a person that will um, assist us in our uh, kingdom. Is that what... Is that the only purpose of side quests? Is to get more people in the kingdom? Go ahead and save. I'm assuming that it's not going to put nine little icons on the, on the world map. Say, hey, go, go to these. Won't be able to save while you're in the dreamer's maze. I think I saved right before it. Please be a puzzle, not a maze. Strange, uncharted spaces stretch out beyond portals known as Dreamer's Doors. What lies at their end and what enemies and lands await within, no one knows. When Evan and his friends enter a Dreamer's Maze, a strain is placed at the very fabric of time and space, or space and time, uh, causing the danger level of that dimension to gradually increase. That is what I'm covering right now. It's at 1%. Or 10%. Kind of hard to tell. There's a 1, and then right below it, there's 0, 0.0. So maybe the danger level is 1, and it's at 0%. There we go. Um, each time the danger, gil danger gauge fills, the danger level will increase by 1. Simply being present is enough to fill it, but certain other incidents also cause it to increase. When the danger level increases... Go to the level and ferocity of the monsters you encounter. As such, you must keep a close eye on it at all times. Defeating monsters in the Dreamer's Maze will earn you strange pink spheres known as Key Orbs. Offer up enough of these to the idol when you come across one, and you can cause the danger level to decrease. But each time you do so, the idol's hunger for orbs will grow. Oh boy. Here uh, you may also meet the occasional person in a dreamer's maze, and they might have a gift of orbs for you, or be able to lower the danger level for a price. The last four of every dreamer's maze is full of monsters whose ferocity is beyond imagining, but defeating them is the only way to stabilize these precious or precarious dimensions. Several dreamer's doors are known to exist around the world. Do you have what it takes to overcome what lies beyond them all? No, no I do not. So it's just we shall There's no map of the place, which is kind of little nuts. It's a trap. Am I missing something? And something. I think I'm missing something. Yeah, huh. let's go this way. Wasted so much time. I 
make yourselves useful. Hey, that's a rib. So is this the exit? Interesting. There are treasure chests. That was a blue one. Angel level is going to increase to two here in a second. And go up to the next floor. I'm guessing the object of this is to get to the lowest floor as quickly as possible. All right, danger level is increased. Oh my gosh, the level of these enemies increased by a lot. buttons. I mentioned before that I want X to be the the, uh, the jump button. I didn't mean to do that. There's the door. Will you tell me what you reduce it by? Five orbs are decreased by one. I'll take that. I'm guessing it'll go up by five each time. Here goes nothing. Next flow. Ain't gonna escape this place just yet. Oh, this is the final floor. And orbs. I don't need that right now. Oh, the danger level is um, is not increasing. Don't mind me as I completely skip you. Go grab this treasure chest. Make sure our equipment is, uh, good, though. Guess that's fine. fight ourselves a whatever this is.
Dang it. Come on. Just barely. I'm out of MP. That wasn't too bad. I was gonna say, I didn't get my, my dream fragment. There it is. Easy. Yeah. Okay, so there's nine of those bad boys. I was thinking there would be nine fragments in that one door and you had to collect all the fragments. We don't need to save just right now. His enemies didn't respawn. That's curious. But we got the scrubber. We need to go back to Home Chick Slice's house and handle that. Um, Wes, there we go. I think I might do this skirmish. Just take the chance. At the level four. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I think I think I have a decent chance. Level four. I need more soldiers. What I need. All right, so no spears, so that's good. Magic dude, slugger. All right, hold on, wait, 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 wait. So he's level four. For the most part, everyone else is level two except for Wally, who's level three. Oh, I'm level four now. When did I hit level four? Can't to lose. All right. 
There's a um, a meter down at Evan's portrait. And I don't know what it is. That's what I was waiting for. How'd you like that, you worms? These uh military might or these special tactics are kinda OP. I'm sure it's gonna get crazy later on. fight that level 50 just for science but it'll take forever to walk all the way up there to fight that guy Tatar for now. Yes, Miggy, it is an early stream. Hey. Gotta play the new hotness. AKA the game I've been waiting for for a long time. Hmm. What if I ain't got no moments, Roland? Huh? What then? I'm a king now. Ain't got time for your man. All right, let's make us some money. Okay, so we got stores here.
Oh, I can sell them too? That's so cool. I already got 13. I just accumulated those. Alright, manage licking them. And go here. Hunting Lodge. Is there anything else I can build? Doesn't look like it. And then this was the barracks? Yeah. Alright, so we want to assign Auntie Martha. Inside out knowledge of sprite craft. All right, so first one doesn't tell me how long it will take. Research. But it does show me what you get for those researches. And you can actually cycle through all their abilities. That's really nice. Roth the Rungan. <laughs> okay. Oops, EXP earned from giving them items. Sixty-two minutes. Twenty-two minutes. Seventy-seven minutes. Well, we'll probably come back here pretty soon, so we'll we'll do this one first. Kind of, kind of cheap. You can't queue up research. Missed opportunity. Okay. Ooh, the great sword. Oh, look at these. How long is that gonna take? Forty minutes? That's not that bad. Changed weapon. 14 minutes. Boosting the initial quality of. Ooh. There we go. We want this. 40 minutes. I want to remove you. Research. Fifty-four minutes, so it does reduce it by a decent amount. There we go, that's what I wanted. A quick way to cycle through all that. Oh, this is done. these other ones just yet. Maybe, maybe we'll grab this. The Explorer's Guild? Building right. 
can you research? A spring in your step allowing you to whiz around the world. Oh my gosh, this is this is important. This is super important. People here. Hey, peep, peep. Everybody's working on stuff. Come back for you. No, that's not actually what I wanted to do. That's fine. We'll just move on. He's like, I need everyone to bear witness to me killing you and taking over your kingdom. Gilders. We value that above all. Come on, kid. We need we need stuff that matters. Not those crazy platitudes. Come on, man. We we gotta fight. We gotta fight to win. Yeah, tell tell him how it's tell him straight. I mean, you, you got to do war, man. Instead of war, we're gonna do espionage. Listen. Sneak inside the enemy kingdoms. Sabotage them. That way they can't go to war with us. and say, oh, it looks so real. Cavern known as Death's Door. Hmm. I don't know where that's at. Uh, save real quick. just the map as it is now we've actually gone to a lot of the area already yeah
Not as big as it looks. Although it is still pretty big. I was like, I have no idea why I'm talking to this person. And now it makes sense. <laughs> like, you're a terrible worker anyway. I don't need you. We're scaring away my customers anyways. Well, those are all, all side quests. Yes. I was gonna say I, I think I have those. Mm. Thank you. A hundredfold, huh? I'm gonna hold you to that. deal that can boost the bazaar's productivity. Well, looks like I'm going to be doing a ton of side quests. I like me some side quests. Excuse me. Oiden. Oiden. It is going to be side quest city today. Go to every town, do every single side quest, get every single person for the kingdom. It's going to be fantastic. Part of me that wants to 100% this game. I'm trying to figure out how I would do that. Well, I 
Well. Tight fit Karen. Beat Mortimer. He's a martial artist. Level 29 recommended for that. Ole mole mole. Go this way. Newbie? Newbie! <laughs> oh my gosh. Easy Fortnite win. First game on. Nice, man. Keep winning them. Is there a, is there like a like a ladder or a ranked system in Fortnite? Gotta go eliminate a monster. Magnanimous. Don't think I saw that one. Level 28. From newbie. A checking noob. Side quest up. Oh, you're not the guy, Fido. Oh yes. Oh, it's Peachy and Yip Yip. They should have a rank system would make it better. I agree. It seems like a a natural thing to add yes. in a game like that. You know, I, I don't know, every other game where you know oh. you have that kind of competitiveness, you would they they have that kind of stuff. So it seems seems interesting that they don't have it. A ranked mode. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't give me the side quest, just join my join my, my kingdom. I like the number of wins gets you into a ranked. The the first thing that came to my mind, and I really have no idea um, how feasible a rank system this would be, but I was thinking like maybe how many wins in a row would determine what rank you are. You know, so if you have you know like fifteen wins in a row, maybe you're the the, the the top of the stack, you know, and and in order for someone 
to be higher rank than you, you would have to get 16 wins in a row or something like that. But, I mean, that's probably not... It's probably better just to do overall wins instead of in a row, but that was just the first thing that came to mind. Gosh. It would be kind of difficult to top yourself getting several wins in a row. Or, you know, it'd be ridiculous <laughs> to be put in a situation where you need to get 30 wins in a row to be rank one in the world. <laughs> oh, what a terrible idea. Don't do that, Fortnite. Don't do that. Maybe as like a, a separate metric, maybe. But don't don't base a ranked mode on that. Uh, but guess that's how battle royales are fun. Playing against noobs all the time. Come on, man. You're you're, you're going up against like <laughs> 99 other people. There's there's at least going to be 25% noobs in there. First Nino Kuni have pun names? I feel like it didn't. Alright, so spools of grass green thread. See you. I do not have grass green thread. Let's go to the library. in the library. Shh. We'll have no rubberneckers here. You'll need the proper accreditation before I let you touch my bookie wookies. Yes? Bookie wookies? Hmm. Yeah, but some are very good. Everyone just grinds the game now. Even the non-gamers, so it's a challenge. I, I guess that's true. You know, everybody's gonna be playing all day or day. How about we uh, play a game of fortune? should be scared. Can I save in town? I can. That is wonderful. That is so wonderful. A lot of games don't let you do this. Like, randomly save in town. Uh, actually, hold on a second. Um. Okay, never mind. A red, red rose. Oh boy. What the flip? <laughs> Key. 
Lily. She's in town. I talked to her once. Doesn't she want two things after this rose? Can we can we find out what she needs after that? We can just go get it all at once. Geronimo! Excuse me. Oh, she what? How did she? How did she tell you about that? We just got here. We we took the fastest route. We've defeated a lot of skellyplasms. Can you just... Yeah. Yeah. Can you just look at my, my monster manual and see that I've defeated several skellyplasms? Cool. Gives you like a, a radius. It's actually very cool. And bring it on! I think that was three. Nope. I guess while I'm out here, might as well look around. You ready for this? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh man. <laughs> I love the noises they make. Why get up there? The uh, bridge spell from right there? Hurt Grove right there. Like something special right there too. I think this 
little mountain path. What what do we got here? Oh. oh, this is this is how you're supposed to get over here. Instead of <laughs> instead of jumping where I did. Alright. So About Fortune Square. I don't know. I think that's the closest. Maybe not. Maybe it was actually the farthest. I jump down right here. Starting to seem like it was the farthest. Uh. Oh, that's why she's a different color, because she has a side quest. That I already have. Do you have proof? <laughs> you don't have to join the kingdom, we just need to know the bridge spell. Uh, no, teach us here. I don't want to go back over there. You can now learn bridge. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Alright, I want to see if this takes me right outside the town. <laughs> 